there, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard with new shovels and an 18 by 24 inch primed canvas balancing on a stretcher bar on a 16 by 16 inch tile, which is always interesting. We have love bug season, so if by any chance I make a squeak, it's because something odd landed on me that I forgot was only a love bug. And uh, we got a strong breeze, so the chances of everything or anything blowing away are fair, fair to Midland. I've got glasses over here and I think I'm going to put them on this time. My timer is set, my radio is off, yes, and I have beautiful colors. And I'm thinking I'm going to use the pan to shovel out of and I'm also going to maybe make some combinations right in the shovel. So I'm going to try and leave my tops on my bottles this time because it turns out working outside in the heat makes for very cloggable tips and when I clear them and then check them before I start, which I did, all of my bottles. How many are there? There's like 30 of them. <laughs> and uh, when I do that and I leave the tops on, they stay seemingly pretty clear as you can tell from my manipulation of the, my addition of the paint. Yeah, I get my words wrong sometimes. It's hot out here. And uh, my brain seizes up. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Oh, see, finally got a clog. Come out. Okay, maybe I'll put that aside and I'll try and remember that that one uh, is clogged. Now, this is my, this is my neon purple from Folk Art and this is my new Art Minds. And although this is a lot lighter, I have another one that's a lot more similar. And the, the Art Minds from, um, the Art Minds paint, not from Folk Art, the Art Minds paint uh, keeps its color. It doesn't turn burgundy, which is pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned. So um, those are some gorgeous colors. And I just want to do, I just want to play, as I always do. And I had, it's been a while since I've tried to draw with shovels, and that is what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's worth putting any gold in there at all. I need to find my other gold, actually. And my other colors. Oh, and my new color. And that other new color. This, that, and the other thing. All right, so I'm going to throw some of this new um, art mines. Is that really it? That can't be it. No way. All right, let's check again. There it is. I got it. I got it this time. This is that wonderful teal that I'm just getting used to. I am going to put, if I use the gold, the thing is, no, nope, there it is. I got my new gold that I mixed up, which is, really? So this is a primed canvas. Yes, I interrupted myself. This is a primed canvas that I primed. This is not bought at the store. It's not, um, it's not matte. It's got shine and it's got two coats of paint on it at least. And I used my OXO omelet turning spatula. And the trick with that is that if the layer of paint is nice and thick and you're quick enough, you have a shot at, yes, the breeze is blowing stuff all over my black canvas and I can see it and it's <laughs> driving me a little crazy, but uh, short trip. Anyway, back to uh, my interrupting myself whenever possible, actually. Um, yeah, I know, I keep losing my train of thought, but I am actually still functional. <laughs> sort of, kind of. I haven't been out here for a few days. I was out here for one painting yesterday, and uh, it wasn't really long enough to reintegrate me into uh, what kind of freaky experience this is, trying to rec make a movie, make a recording, whatever. Um, I got great colors. I think I want some black in there and I think I want some white in there. And I'm very conscious of the time. My pan of colors is really pretty. That always makes me pretty happy when we have a good start. What else? I just annihilated some combination I was really enjoying and I think that that might have been this. Yes. And now we have another clog. Oh, thank you. It went away. I mean, like, I have no idea where it went away, but it went away. So I have that Prussian blue down there. And I like the way that looks, and I like the purple, too. Do I have enough white? I'm not sure I do, and I know I don't have enough of this iridescent. I'm going to force some of that down in there. And I see that my oranges disappear just a bit, and I would like some more of that. 
and I'm just going to float that right on the surface and hope I can scoop it out. And then I'm going to try to give myself a little bit of room. I said I was going to put some black in there and then I didn't. I, I usually am conscious of having too much paint and it's possible that I have too much paint because paint flows really nicely across this slightly shiny surface. There's my black. Yes. And that's just meant to, uh, let's call it a low light. I put some gold in there, but I don't have any, much confidence that that's going to be the way to go. I'm rethinking my shovels. Maybe I'll just use one that's a pretty color. And, um, and, um, and, um, again, let's grab some, let's grab some more orange, because I want some of that over here. And I didn't put any red in there. I know. It's about, it's all about the colors. There's no, um, there's no silicone in anything. So the more colors I have, in my opinion, the better my chances are. I'm going to try and wipe off the bottom of that shovel of uh, making colors react to each other. Best way to do this is not to think too much about it, just to start. At least that's the way it works for me. You can see there's some pretty cells in there. I'm sure somebody's naming that chicken. <laughs> I'm just going to keep letting the paint relax down right off the shovel in as thin a mark as it wants to. There's a love bug to get rid of. And I'm going to dip in some more color scrape off the bottom of my shovel and I'm going to dribble it. Am I going to dribble it? I am. Because I can, which is the name of my book about fluid acrylics and abstract art. It is on the Amazon link. If you open show more below the video, you will find it. Do I want some more white in there? I kind of like how the white looks. Maybe I'll just grab the white I've got. And after I get done with my shoveling, I will contemplate other implements, like in, I have this really cool little spoon that I can see over here, right there, with a flat front. And um, I am also contemplating, I think I maybe have too much paint, contemplating using some of my scoops pick the prettiest paint I can find. See how far I can let that paint relax out of my shovel. Not minding the little gaps. They're cool. kind of like them a lot, actually. Now I wonder if I can Take a skewer, I hope you can see some of that. Take a skewer and sort of let this beautiful paint that's down here in this corner that's kind of thick fall right over the edge. And maybe just help it in a few directions very gently because I like the patterns I'm seeing. And I have some paint back in my shovel again. Maybe I'll just dip my shovel right in there. It's a very warm day here and uh, <laughs> I can feel the heat coming down from the top of my tent. This is fun, as long as I'm not panicking too badly. <laughs> I know, you, you think I'm probably kidding about that, but I'm not. There are 30, excuse me, there are 63,000 subscribers for this channel now. I know you're almost never all here at once, but um, <laughs> it's still a sort of a nerve-wracking number. And I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you. Occasionally you help me uh, a lot to get noticed when you're watching frequently. I can just drag that shovel tip right up there and then I can use what I've got over here 
And that's cool. So far, anyway. I'm going to steal a little paint from right in there. And drop down and graduate my shovel. Could be another undersea garden. kind of don't mind any of this over here, but I think it needs a little something-something. I haven't quite got graduated to the place where I feel I absolutely must do anything with my kitchen scoops. Now, I, I do have and I can use Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas right here. That's my number one. And I will just let that paint come right down out of that shovel. I don't want to um, try and spread it with a spatula because that will muddy the colors. But I am going to go ahead and see what happens when I pull a few things. Maybe I will scrape my shovel and apply a few things directly because I've always got pretty colors on my shovel. This time I want to use some dots. I haven't done so every time. It might be time for a new shovel, I think. That one's going in the bucket. So I'm going to take my colors and I'm going to dip them right in. And pick up the ones I like. And add to my design. And continue on over here. And I said I was going to do some dots, and I think I definitely will. But I better decide on doing that if I'm going to do it right here pretty quick. How much? I've got four minutes left. I'm going to take the, um, the dull end of my bamboo skewer. Try and pick some colors that are all different from each other to do my dots out of. Not sure the black one was a good choice, or if it was a choice at all, actually. I've wanted to experiment to cross over things for a while. There is no yes love bug on my ankle. I'm fidgeting. <laughs> it's nice to just change things up once in a while and try something that's a little bit outside my normal. Like that, sort of. There may be a part two, but if there's a part two, I don't promise that the camera won't melt because it's been pretty hot and it does not like it out here after the first movie gets recorded. Hopefully you can see that. We could probably just leave that right like it is and not worry about it for a minute, I bet you. Anything I could get away with that, but um, I'm really having too much fun to stop now. And once the timer goes off, we'll still have another couple minutes. Now what do I want to do? I see I've got some stuff going on over here. Like like I want a new kind of texture right there. I kind of want some spirals, but uh, in order to do that, I'm going to have to find another shovel. Where is it? Maybe a scoop. It's time for a scoop. Look at that. Let's grab some super awesome colors. Yes, right there. Hopefully, we'll have a little dribble fest for a minute. Hope that I don't um, make any mistakes. That's cool. I'm going to take advantage of what's dripping over the edge, kind of change that up a little bit. 
I like the difference in the colors. They're pretty awesome. I am going to grab another shovel. Am I? Yes, behind me. Okay. Scrape off my bottom. Try and find a place where I'm not going to leave a fingerprint, but at least the, the paint will be resistant to fingerprints because it's slick. My black paint has a certain amount of gloss to it. Just leading that right to the edge and letting it go over. And I am going to grab, what am I going to grab? I'm going to grab my pointed Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula and try and use it like a pen. I don't know if it will work. And I always forget, you know, I can just use my squeeze bottles. Which I might want to do there. And that's my two minute warning. Or your two minute warning. And it, the timer, the camera has been shutting off early, so, um, I'm not sure what to tell you. That's kind of fun though. I really like that. I kind of like that negative space up there too. It makes me want something down here, but I'm not sure what that something is. And uh, I'm just going to throw some more red orange in there and maybe some yellow and maybe some gold and maybe some turquoise. <laughs> Maybe some of everything into this shovel and a little more purple. And what am I missing? I'm missing the green I was hoping for. Let's just go right over the edge. All the way across. down. Hopefully you can see that. I tried to adjust my turntable so you guys would see most things. And that just leaves me wanting to, um, to add a few dots. And they're just going to be cord dots right out of my shovel. Try and stop them with my finger. Sort of like mini rings. And that's probably it. So I will tell you guys, <laughs> not much. Um, if you watch more videos, you help me out. And if you give me a thumbs up, you give me better placement on YouTube. So um, if you shop my, ad my, uh, my Amazon link, it's at, at no added cost to you. And I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. And probably if you've watched some more, you know that uh, I give lessons at the house and I do sell my artwork. And you can just inquire right through YouTube if you'd like to. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have questions, I'll answer them. I love you guys. And I appreciate you very much. I think I said that. And uh, I'll see you again in another video. Hopefully this is done. Although I'm going to have to wipe that little spot off. There we go. I'm done. Let's see if I can see what you can see and if you're even still here. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery going, that needs to be pink. And you're still here, and that's awesome. So I'm going to say whatever I was supposed to say that I forgot to say, which is um, watch some more videos, and I would appreciate that. And I love you guys, and I think I said that anyway. I'm just going to keep working until you're gone. <laughs> because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link.